Coming up on 1030, that means it's time for some celebrity dish. And we have quite the celebrity that's helping us. Look at this vision. April Watts, come on over here. Hello. I used to say not everybody Hi, gets ladies. a walk up for celebrity dish, but because <laughs> you're so gorgeous, <laughs> right? I'm hugging from afar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, we had to show that off. Yay. It just, it was just stunning. Very pretty. Thank very pretty. you so much. How you feeling? I am awesome. How are you guys? We're, we're doing great. It's yeah. pumpkin spice season. I know. I'm here for it all. Mm. Okay, well, we're glad you're here with us. Ready to hop into it? Yes, let's do it. Okay. Well, up first, we are still talking about Travis Kelsey and Taylor <laughs> Swift. I, I mean, it's been a whole 20 minutes since we last talked about it. So there is evidence, new evidence, of what happened between them following that game. We want to bring mm. in producer Chris for all the tea. Chris, good morning. You can't ever tell me you don't like something because then my gut reaction <laughs> is always just to put more of it of in course. the show, Jeanette. <laughs> yeah. So I apologize in advance. But listen, if you're not just discovering Travis Kelsey like all of Taylor Swift's fans, you know the guy kind of likes to show off a little bit. And it's clear he's enjoying a lot of this newfound attention. So if you're curious what happened after the game, TMZ has the pictures right there. That's at the after party for the Chiefs. They got these exclusive photos of Travis hanging out with Taylor at a bar. She's got her arm around them. It looks like she was almost sitting on his lap in some of them. So it appears they did actually hit it off. Yesterday, we talked about this a little bit too. Travis opened up to his brother Jason about Taylor and that date on their new Heights podcast. Take a listen. Yeah, my personal life, that's not so personal. Yeah, well. <laughs> I did this to myself, Jason. I know this. Well, Trav, um, how does it feel that uh, Taylor Swift has finally put you on the map? <laughs> <laughs> I just thought it was awesome how everybody in the suite had nothing but great things to say about her. You know, the friends and family. She looked amazing. Everybody was talking about her in great light. And on top of that, the day went perfect for Chiefs fans, of course. We scripted it all, ladies and gentlemen. But um, <laughs> to see the slow motion chest bumps, to see the <laughs> high fives with my um, to see how, you know, Chiefs Kingdom was all excited that she was there. That was absolutely hysterical. It was definitely a game I'll remember. That's for damn sure. And then we just slid off in the getaway car at the end. I mean, everybody's talking about it. Everyone. Literally everyone. Even Bill Belichick. He hasn't Dude, talked much about me about outside that? of, you know, game weeks that we've played. But he <laughs> made sure to remind me that that's the best catch I've ever had in my life. <laughs> Dude, that was a great line by Bill. Hilarious. And then you got Coach Reed telling everybody he's Cupid. He's been manifesting this the whole time. He's the one that set us up. Is there any truth to this? Ah, I don't, <laughs> I don't even know how to answer that. I know that he had met the Swift family before, so I don't know. He could have been uh, in the background the whole time. Dude, Coach Reed playing matchmaker? Who knew Cupid was so big? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Taylor for coming through and seeing me rock the stage. All right, so that's just a small portion of the podcast. There is nothing like an older brother, though, to really... Leave, you know, just kind of get underneath your skin with a little brother when you're talking about their love life like that, guys, though. What, what do you think of it? Uh, really, I guess the whole situation, Travis, Taylor, that whole thing. Well, I think that celebrities are groupies for each other as well, <laughs> and I think he's excited about her. Yeah. He's fine. She's excited about him. He's mm -hmm. an athlete. I think it's going to last for all of six months, and then oh. after that, it's going to fizzle out. He's gorgeous. He's in high demand. The ladies love him. They're going to throw themselves yeah. at him. He cheated on the previous girlfriend. I believe once a cheater, always oh. a cheater. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you you believe the the allegations that he did? Yes, okay. I do. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. What do you think, Holly? I'm choosing love. I'm choosing <laughs> love. This is going to be. I'm going to believe in both of them until I don't believe anymore. <laughs> What's All okay? right. I mean, yeah. that's. A, I think that's a safe route yeah. to take, mm -hmm. right? Um, you know Look what? At I, that. I, yeah, I mean, I mean that's not a great picture of either of them. Let's be honest. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? I mean, they look like just like a real couple so, at yeah. the bar that maybe had one too many. You I know, think it's it's genuine. Genuine. Yeah, it's, yeah. I think it's genuine. I just yeah. enjoy each other, opinion. but I do yeah. think there's there's a full awareness on both ends. Hey, most I think most likely we're just having fun, but we're having fun nonetheless, and mm -hmm. everybody yeah. wins. I will say that podcast, their banter is is. Really great. Yeah. It seems really yeah. entertaining. So, yeah. Uh, so yeah, win, win, win for everyone. Yes. Literally, and for them on the field. Win, win, we'll win. And just about five months, you know, that'll be right around the end of the NFL season. So timing's <laughs> perfect. Well, there you, there you go. go. All right, right, guys. Let's talk about some ghosts in this house now, because Cardi B, spooky season came a little early for her. It seems like. So on Instagram Live on Tuesday, she told her fans that her house is haunted, and she fears for her safety. So this isn't Casper the friendly ghost. 
apparently. Cardi says a presence in the home has some sinister sexual intentions towards her. And according to Cardi, she's the only one in the house that the spirit bothers. She gave one example. She said she had just hopped out of the shower when she heard a fly buzzing around, but she says there was no fly. Have you guys ever had any close encounters with a ghost? Is this a no judgment zone? Oh, absolutely. No judgment zone. Always. Absolutely. I mean, you this see us not space. judging Come on. on all of these stories. I completely believe Cardi B because it's happened to me. There's really? supposed to be like a scientific reason for it. It's called mm -hmm. sleep paralysis, and sometimes it comes off sexually. I'm not sure if it's a ghost, if ah. it's sleep paralysis. I don't know, but I believe Cardi B. She's not lying. Oh. I mean, is it scary or does it feel good? It feels good and it's scary. Oh. <laughs> Both it's at the so same good. time. It's scary. I'm Both at the same time. <laughs> Not, you know because what I'm you can't I'm intrigued. Yeah. Uh, okay, so you believe in the supernatural and I specifically do. believe in her situation. Yes. Okay. Interesting. All right. All right. I um I believe in the, in spirits and ghosts and all of that. And I mean, who's to say this isn't true? I, it's it's very the sexual part is very interesting to me. I'm gonna believe until I don't believe. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's your story, and you're sticking yeah, to it. Right. Right. <laughs> exactly. All right, guys, we're gonna stay in the no, no judgment zone here, okay? Because this next story is definitely raising a lot of eyebrows online and in the newsroom. If oh. I'm being honest with you, because oh. internet personality and basketball wife star Brittany Brian, Brittany Renner, excuse me, has opened up about her sex life with Shannon Sharp. So this happened on the Club Shay Shay podcast, and it happened after the Pro Football Hall of Famer, excuse me. Talk to her about how men may feel dating a woman who has a, quote, track record. Take a look at her response. Because my dating pool is, I mean, my expansive. God, impressive, expansive. I've had sex with 35 guys, okay? <laughs> Whew. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I know he's just joking around, but that reaction seems a little over the top. The former Broncos star was so stunned he had to take a big swig of booze. The two continued the conversation about Renner's roster of partners. She said her list of names is comparable to Yankees legend Derek Jeter. Listen, she's 31 years old. You're out in the dating game. Maybe she, even if she waited until she was 20, that's 11 years. That's three partners a year, guys. That doesn't you did seem so all crazy. the numbers. I, mean, I crazy. did, he did the math. Right there. <laughs> what do you what do you think about what she said and his reaction, Shannon's reaction? Shannon's reaction was entertainment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, um, what she said is not problematic for me. The fact that she said it mm -hmm. is problematic for me. I don't care what your track record is. I don't care mm -hmm. how many people you've slept with. I just believe that a lady should never tell. Mm. Leave a little mystery. Makes yeah. you more attractive. Okay. What do you think? I think that Derek Jeter had way more than 35. I think so, I think so too. <laughs> I think Derek Jeter would be like, say, excuse yeah. me. Exactly. <laughs> Will Chamberlain Chris brought up. I mean, come on. Uh, let's really talk. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm with you. I, I, I mean, here's the thing. It seems to me with Brittany, when she shares things like this, she expects the backlash. She doesn't care for it. Right. Like, it doesn't bother her. That's mm -hmm. why she does this. So, hey, she knows what she's signing up for, yeah. and a lot of folks are commenting on it. So. Oh, and speaking of signing up, this lady's signed up for Lion Lunch Hour. So <laughs> I don't go did. anywhere. Yes, yes. she's going to be back and doing a whole lot more. Thank you so much yes. for coming in. Thank you for having me. Thank oh, you. we love it. Come back, please. Awesome. <laughs> uh, thanks, Chris, too.